So I gotta ask you guys, what was how must how much fun was it working on a western? Because it's so rare that these types of movies get made, especially on a scale like this. Was it kind of it must have been nuts slapping on the six guns and going to work and you know riding horses with Denzel Washington? Uh, yeah, it was great. <laughs> and uh, uh, right, uh, amazing experience. Um, uh, you know, to be part of a, of a western of this magnitude and. Uh, you know, I've played cowboys and Indians all my life and, sure. and you know, to dress as a cowboy and <laughs> shoot people and ride horses is like a dream come true and being a kid again. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It, yeah. We're, there. We're really pinching ourselves out there. Yeah. How about stepping into the shoes of somebody like Steve McQueen? Because that's kind of what you're doing in this one a little bit. In, in a way, I mean, the character is not exactly based on that, but right. he is kind of the second, the second in command type, the archetype, you know, Steve McQueen type role. Right. Uh, must have been kind of exciting. Big shoes to fill. Well, you know, I I didn't I never really looked at it like that. I sure. mean, this was this was um, we we found these characters on the through the process and in the script and and we we were really uh, paying homage more to Kurosawa's sure. uh, Seven Samurai than the movie The Magnificent Seven. In fact, we didn't even watch The Magnificent Seven mm -hmm. prepping for this. We watched a movie called The Wild Bunch, Great movie. and that was that was a little more what we were going for. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah, you I think I think. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really think about that, so I didn't feel any of those pressures. In a movie that's a big ensemble, how is it kind of building a backstory? Because both of you, it seems like you have kind of something very distinct going on. Especially, kind of you, you have like kind of a, a dark history a little bit, you mm -hmm. know. And it seems uh, so. How do you kind of go uh, across, put put that across in like a big budget movie like this, where maybe the screen time is somewhat limited for that, you know? Right. Are there subtle kind of tricks that you use a little bit to to convey the depth? Well, yeah. I mean, I think uh, each person. We were all there exploring these characters, finding these characters, and uh, you know, I, for instance, uh, Manuel and my, and I, our characters in the movie have this uh, competitive sure. sort of thing that's going on through the course of the movie, and a lot of that stuff was just just discovered while we were out there working, you know, because mm. I was spinning guns and then all of a sudden he was spinning guns and he was way better at me than spinning guns and <laughs> I started spinning guns trying to get better and he and like <laughs> there's this friendly competition that was going back and forth and that stuff worked and Antoine, our director, really saw that and, and went with it and so, you know, in terms of the backstory and, and you know, you can't focus on how, what what your audience is going to see. Sure. You just kind of focus on what what's true to you what's going to be your truth in those moments and you play them and if if the director puts those into the movie then that's cool and if not that's cool too and also sprinkling in some comic relief i guess in a movie like this like especially your character i found was kind of moments of levity i guess when it gets kind of heavy right you know especially with the kind of a body count piling up around you how about doing something though as opposed to other big budget movies that you've done where there was a lot of cgi it felt like this was kind of more old school like more of a classic hollywood thing you know real explosions real horses yeah what was that like it must have been quite physically demanding or riding horses all day uh <laughs> it was uh i mean we we owe everything to the stunt coordinators yeah, yeah they were great but um we it was a tough shoot uh it was you know heat and horses and yeah you know, it was uh, fun. Yeah, <laughs> the, there's definitely a, a layer of unpredictability mm -hmm. when you're when you're doing stunts with horses because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know your 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 stuntmen who are controlling the horses mm -hmm. halfway through the shot they fall off the horse. Yeah. And now you just got a bunch of freaking horses running around. You know what <laughs> I mean? You, and you got uh, you almost got yeah, well, I almost, I almost yeah, got yeah. trampled. I felt like every we kind of rolled the dice before every single take. There was a chance <laughs> something really bad could happen. And really, fire here, and here. you know. And there were a couple of in injuries, but no, thank God nothing grave. You know, yeah. no one no one got yeah. gravely injured. Uh, some people got hurt. There were some broken bones. You know, there's some tough stuntmen who who got knocked out and you know that kind of thing and. Uh, but that's that's really the what's exciting about doing something that is real. That's not yeah. CG. It's just it's yeah. practical. Yeah, yeah, it's real. Yeah. It's on film with real horses, real guns. We weren't shooting real bullets, but you know we're shooting blanks out of real guns. It was it yeah. was authentic.